Uh, we'll just see, because I reckon there'll be another one in there. there seem to be quite a few. Oh, look at that one. Nice size fish. Straight away, next cast. G'day everyone, welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We're along the beautiful South Australian coast today, chasing flatties from the boat. It's not something that I've done a lot of, but what we have done has been very successful. So I'm gonna run you through all the stuff that we do to catch big flatties along the coast, and hopefully you can go out and do it for yourself. Let's get into it. All right, I've got a couple of rods rigged, both two to four kilo spin sticks, seven footers, four pound braid, size 20 reels. And I've got a diesel minnow four inch one in the new penny color um, on one of the snake locks jig heads and that's on a one eighth. Then I've also got one of the easy shrimps also on a one eighth head, but it's just one of the headlocks heads. Um, I'm gonna start with the diesel minnow. The other thing that I'm gonna do that I think is important for flatties is I'm going to scent the plastic. I think flatties will eat it. Well, a lot of the time they'll eat it and miss it. And I think if it tastes good, they'll come back. So just scent up in the slit there and then also a bit on either side. And I'll just keep putting that on as I need to throughout the session. So I got this beautiful rocky shore with these sand patches in amongst it. And then this also goes around into small beaches as well. So got a good mix of terrain and I'll just sort of be targeting right close to the bank because we've got an incoming tide and predatory fish like flatties will be moving in up to the edge to where those little bait fish are. So that's the plan and we'll just work through and see if we can't find a few. got first flatty for the morning it's not a very big one still target species acquired there we go he's unhooked himself which is nice definitely looks like a spot in there The one thing I've found is that if you're getting bites from like wrasse and leather jackets and stuff like that, you're probably in too deep. The flatties love like these real shallow, shallow edges. Oh, I actually saw that one just charge out and eat it and it's tiny. What are you doing, man? Another good one. That's him. Nice. That's a better one. Ah, oh, dropped him. Straight back in the sand. I actually had two bites in there and I'm not sure whether that was different fish or the same one. Better size flatty. There he is. Ah, oh, I missed him again. I can see him there. Got him. Ah, oh, missed him. Damn, man. They're so aggressive. Come on. 
He would still be there. Oh, what? Look at the big dust cloud he's creating. That's so cool. It'd be better if I could actually hook him. Got him that time. That's a good one. Nice. Er, well, he hit it four times. That is so cool. That's a nice size fish. It's definitely a nice size fish. You can. Very nice. Get him in the net. Job's on. There he, uh, there he is. Cool size flatty. So nice to come out and get the target species pretty quickly. We'll get him back and we'll try and get another one. Off you go. Off he goes. Uh, we'll just see because I reckon there'll be another one in there. Seem to be quite a few. Oh, look at that one. Nice size fish. Straight away, next cast. <laughs> That's a bigger one. So good. <laughs> oh, so awesome. There he is. Get him in the net. He's a nice one. Very nice. Oh, 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 bad net job. Well, that's two in as many casts. He's a feisty one. Beautiful fish. How cool is that? So stoked. All right, get him back in. Off he goes. <laughs> They're like, I'll go under the boat. Well, that is awesome. They were stacked in there, and it just sort of shows you that if you catch one out of a spot like that, keep casting in there, because quite possibly there could be more. This is the fourth day fishing, catching lots with this one diesel minnow. It's lasted so well. <laughs> and I think I could get most of today out of it as well, if I'm lucky. get him this cast. The bite is so distinctive from a flathead. They just absolutely belt it. Got him that time. Nice. Good size fish. Ooh. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, 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 oh. Putting up a bit of a scrap, this one. Stunning fish. Now I just come into this bit here and it was like, there's gonna be one there. They're kinda hard to hold on to. Flipping around a lot. So stoked, knew there was gonna be one in that bit. Super cool. All right, yes, yes. The guys. You're probably wondering why I've been putting back them tasty flatheads, but I think flathead could be, they're definitely a fish that could be overfished, so. You know, I might keep a couple, but I think it's really nice just for the future of the fishery, not to go and kill everything. I know a lot of the people that watch the channel are dedicated native fishers, and this is just so much like fishing for yellows. I think if you love fishing for yellows, then you'll absolutely love this. And alternatively, if you love this style of fishing and you've never fished the Murray, you'd absolutely love it. <coughs> wow, love the Murray too. Oh, that was awesome. It just come charging out and just 
bobbed it. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, that's the one that I wanted to catch. Beautiful. And just goes to show you that it doesn't matter how shallow it is. They're going to be in there. That is really nice. Really nice. Man, he's putting up a good fight. Oh, check him out. Man, the water is so clear today. So good. We've actually had had quite a bit of wind against this shore and what happens is it stirs up all the weed and stirs up all the the sandy bottom and the water gets quite dirty so you have to wait till it settles out. That is a really nice fish. It's, it's so cool. Yeah, now that that is what I came to catch. That is just a beautiful blue spot. How cool, just cruising along these beautiful rocky banks. The water is just crystal clear. These beautiful blue spot flathead, so good. Awesome fun, so much fun. All right, I'm gonna get this one back in. It's the reason for the glove. Let it go, let it go. He's like, can I go? I can go. Yeah. What was that? Nice. What is it? It is a big whiting. How cool is that? What are you doing eating a four inch diesel minnow? Oi, settle down. That is redonkulous. Oi. Now, good, off he goes. What is he doing eating that? Nice, straight in. I was looking at that, oh, that pocket there, and it just looked so good. Oh, strong fish, strong fish. Oh, check him out down there. They are a beautiful fish, they really are. What a cracker. Oh, he's putting up a fight. Oh, strong. Well, that is day made, really. Beautiful blue spot, beautiful coast. Check him out, that is sensational. Absolutely sensational. Four inch diesel minnow just goes to town on them. <laughs> Wicked, beautiful flatty, super stoked. That's really cool, there's a big flathead lie down there. There's two of them. That's cool. That's awesome. That's a really big flathead groove in the sand there. Amazing. Wow, what a glamour end to the day. It's about time to head back to the ramp. Really appreciate you guys watching the channel. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like it. Leave us a comment and if you subscribe to the channel, it'll help the channel grow. It's been a beautiful day exploring the coast. I will catch you next time.